Hi, Chris Hughes with MJM Yachts on board our 50Z. I'm here with Jim McGowan from Raymarine. He's going to walk us through some of the cool new features on their charting systems. Jim, welcome aboard. Thanks, Chris. So the system we're looking at here is a Raymarine GS series. This is our flagship navigation system. And we know one of the things that MJM owners really like about GS series is its flexibility. Dual Raymarine GS series displays are featured on the MJM 50Z to display electronic charts, radar, thermal imaging, and engine data. These new Raymarine GS series displays are intuitive and as simple to use as your smartphone. Simply touch and drag your finger to move the chart. Pinch or spread two fingers like a set of dividers to change the scale of the chart. Wherever you touch the screen, that marks the cursor. Bob Johnstone customizes the upper data bar with quick navigation info such as range and bearing to cursor, course over ground and speed over ground, time, and latitude longitude. But there's even more. If you slide your finger down the touch screen, a second data bar appears for handy visual data on all three engines. On Bob's 50Z, he set it up to show in his port display engine RPM and economy, coolant temperatures, and on his starboard display engine oil pressure, log information, and transmission oil pressure. MJM supplies Raymarine NOAA raster charts for the entire United States. These are like a full set of paper charts with the same high level of detail and precision you've come to expect from your chart books. These raster charts are a godsend when gunk holing or navigating the intracoastal. Bridge heights, frequent depth soundings, and points of interest are all clearly visible. Of course, you have the flexibility of using CMAP or Navionics vector charts loaded in and ready to use as well, a full array of navigational options. There's additional information that we can put on top of the navigation chart to enhance the detail and information that it shows us. A great example of that is satellite photo overlay or aerial overlay. And right here you'll see aerial photos. So I'm gonna turn them on. And you can see the system has high definition satellite photos built right into it. So now there's no mistaking what's on the shoreline. We've got the park across the way. Uh, we can see the bridge behind us. In fact, if we zoom in, you can even see the Boston Boat Works facility right here. Another really cool feature that we have on this boat is AIS, Automatic Identification System. So what we have on here is a transceiver that can broadcast our position, course, speed, and other navigation information to other vessels in the area, and we can see them too. So look at this cluster of boats across the way. These are some AIS contacts that our system has picked up. Go ahead and touch one of those, Chris. So the one that you selected is a boat called Vincent Tibbetts, and we're getting that from his AIS transceiver. And if you touch that prompt again, we can get some additional information about him. His AIS transponder sends his name, his course, his speed. We can see the last time that he was around. His radio call sign is there. That's really helpful if you're going to call him up when you're out on the open ocean. We can see his length, his beam, his draft, all sorts of information. So it really enhances your situational awareness and your safety out on the water. You can show depth on the GS display, but this dedicated I-70 Multi shows depth in big numbers, clearly visible from both piloting seats. When the pilot is distracted, the co-pilot can give a warning of shoaling water. We hope you all enjoyed Jim McGowan from FLIR taking us through some of the features of the Raymarine charting system on our MJM Yachts 50Z. Thanks for watching.